We are here. We are here. We are here on this amazing day. Everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Disclaimer, I'm not a professional. Please watch these videos at your own risk. These videos for entertainment purposes only. Thank you. Friends and family on Telegram. Families and friends will prosper. Now, let's pick up the business. Okay, guys, we are marking up L-U-N-A-B-T-C. Take a look at what's going on in the market. We are on the monthly time frame. So let's figure out what's going on with structure. Current price action. Candle. Last active candle in the market. We have a bullish candle, which is what your screen will be green. My screen is white. So we see a big green or white candle pushing up in the market. So let's see what's going on. So we identify price action in the market. What's next? Uh, price action highs. So we have, a, we have a few areas to work with highs, but, but we know price has to break this area here. But before we get to that, let's look at the low. So price action dropped down to a low. We're looking for price to tag this area of this support that was touched. And we know we got to figure out the midpoint. We're going back up to that high. Currently, we have one bullish candle. There's nothing going on to the left-hand side. So we got to figure out what's going on in that high. So we're looking for price to tag uh let's go with we look for price to tag this body of this wick so if price action gets that wick that market shooting up we also we're going to change the color red and then right in the middle so we got our highest high we're looking for price to break that highest high of that wick because there's nothing to over, over to the left then we're going to grab the midpoint so we're going to just draw a line right to that midpoint area here I think this is with T. we have price action highs price action lows midpoint right in the middle bullish candle uh overall structure where's the market coming from it's coming from a low of a w so if you look at it right here, first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest is somewhere in this area here. This could be the retest candle that, that's pushed down with that spike that retest the previous area. Then market did what? Uh, market pushed up once, came back for that retest, market pushed up twice. So right now market's on that second push up to the top. So we got to figure out what's going on with that market. And that's the weekly time frame. Let's see what we have. We have a bullish candle that engulfed the previous area. It did make the big point. And so we don't see any support areas. So we're looking for that market to break as it currently did. And we're looking for the market to come back and return. So that means we need to see some red candles dropping back down. It doesn't have to drop back down all the way to that area. That support that is common for us to do look for entry in that area to take it to the upside. If that doesn't happen, and that market could shoot up and then show maybe some type of retest in this area here, then then shoot up further. Okay. But at the end of the day, we are looking for that market to break back down to retest to come up further. Now, if it doesn't break and come back down for that retest, I mean that market's going to break that midpoint, which will be breaking the opposite of that midpoint point of the support. Coming back to retest that area, we'll be looking for entry here, and the market should be dropping down to the next area of that lower slow that we created with the support. If that doesn't happen, we already know that the market's going to do what? It's going to consolidate either at this high or at that midpoint before we get a breakout to the top side or breakout to the downside. So we have an area pushing up for the high or the low, or we have consolidation. We do have a bullish candle. It looks very strong. It actually dominated all this area here, showing that the market's going to go up for the next level. So we're looking for we we'll push that market up. In this area here, we let's see we got some type of foundation. So what do we receive? Uh, the market pushed up in green. So to this area, this um, support. We got a retest on that area of support. We got the break. That market came back down to retest. So let's read the structure. Uh, market coming down in red. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest. That's a double. That's a decline W that the market did. We got the retest. The market pushed up once. So with this weekly structure, the market still could push up a few more times. But we definitely looking for that market to retest its midpoint in this area to see if it's going to shoot up further. If not, we know that market's going down. If it doesn't, we already know that's market consolidate date. Head down to the daily time frame. What do we see? So we already see the, those multiple pushes down to the bottom. So let's draw it out. 
So we have that first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg retest. Market pushed up once. So this is that double bottom, triple bottom that we received. So market pushed up once. And we didn't even get a retest. So the market looks like it's trying to retest right now. So we don't have a real clean areas of retest where we see the opposite color creating an area of support. But market did a big old push up after this triple bottom came up to that high. And now we have a pattern here, which I think is a tweezer top. And what we have is second to last candle is a bullish candle. Uh, the current candle is a doji. So it's indecisive. So it's a candle that has to be formed for the next level. We don't know if the market's going to push up above this or push down. But if you look at price candle, which what's going on in that area is two pushes to the top of spikes. So that market side by side. So that means that's what's going on in that area. Some type of area of consolidation. It could be a consolidation, but definitely area of support of a retest. So it can consolidate sideways. It can break down to this uh, area here, create new lows. Or it can uh, consolidate, break up to the next level, retest, and go up further. Okay? So we do see that. Um, but market is coming from that two spikes up to the top. So when we go down a lot to, lower time, to the lower time frame, most likely we're going to see some type of double top in that area that put that could be pushing that market down. So markets at a midpoint, it can create some momentum and shoot up or shoot down or consolidate. Let's see if we can identify what's going on in the market. Headed down to the four. On the four, we did receive a break. So let's look at what's going on. High is high, midpoint low. So if you look at price action coming from that high, we did get, what, two spike ups to that high? So we did identify what I said on that daily time frame with the two spikes of that can do. Now we get to see it clearer. So let's read the market. We got that first leg coming up in white, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. That's an M pattern showing that that market can drop after the retest. Okay, so we're looking for some white candles to push up my screen, green and yours, and we don't see that market drop. So we have that first, second, third, fourth. Are we looking for a market to break this midpoint? Come back to retest. We look at entry in this area here. If that happens, that market's selling down. If that doesn't happen, that market's doing what? It's going to consolidate at this range area, side by side. And it's, oh, that's a consolidation space. And if it breaks up to the top side, we look for that market to break. Come back to retest. We look at entry in this area here. And that market's shooting up to next levels. Okay. Um, so far, that market look like it's in a downtrend. The second to last candle is a long spike down candle. Besides it being engulfing, we do have a long spike. That could be an area of support where that market could be well, very well respected for that market to push up. So we need a, uh, a candle to engulf this second to last wick to show that market is going to push down. With that happening, that market will, should be breaking this area of support that we created on that midpoint of the highest high in the overall midpoint section. Headed down to the three, we have a doji in the types of market. That's some type of retest and consolidation. No trade. You gotta wait for the next candle to form. It's gonna engulf that structure to see if the market's gonna shoot up or shoot down. Headed down to the two, we got side by side candles. So this basically that's that market consolidating sideways. So this extension, we still got extension on the one. So market's going sideways, consolidation, same as 45. Name is 30. So my market is consolidating up and down. Now we see now we see a little more structure. So we're seeing something forming here. So I'll give you guys an idea. This market could be respecting that midpoint for that W. So we could receive that first leg, second leg, third leg. We got a spike down here. We get some white candles going up. That market could be shooting up for that W. If it does, I mean we need a retest after the market breaks this area here that shoots that market up. Now that would be the market going up in that uptrend. If it's respected for that downtrend, and it starts from this bottom here, which will be that first leg coming down all the way down, down for that second, coming to a point for that retest, and then drop it down further, or you can get the full retest of the breakout to come down to the support, retest the bottom, and drop down. And last but not least, you already know that market can just consolidate back and forth within that space before we get to the breakout of breakdown of that market. Head it down to the five. The market look like it's creating an area of support here. Could be pushing up. Okay, so we got to, if you look at price action, where is it coming from? Price action coming from a double top that pushed that market down once and could be twice. Okay, so it still has more to do. So it's, we have to wait for that market to break out this area to see if it's going to go up and down. Headed down to three. Market's working that way. The end point is still at a midpoint. It has to really break that midpoint to do what it do. And same as the one. So right now, market's in the midpoint of consolidation. Got a few seconds left, guys. Very important information. Please review Forex Pattern Chi Chi and please review.